डी स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अनु कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन द मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर रिक्वेस्टिंग मी दैट बिजनेस स्टैटिस्टिक्स टू इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस सो बी कॉम सेकेंड ईयर फोर्थ सेमिस्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल पेपर और गेस्ट पेपर जस्ट टू प्रैक्टिस दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर बिफोर गोइंग टू द एग्जाम सो आई कैन एश्योर दैट डेफिनेटली कैन स्कोर आउटस्टैंडिंग मार्क्स इन योर फाइनल एग्जाम सो दिस इज अ केस पेपर और मॉडल पेपर सो बी कॉम सेकेंड ईयर फोर्थ सेमिस्टर so these are very very important questions just practice these questions before going to the exam so first question is uh, regression if r is equal to 0.6 and sigma x is equal to 1.5 sigma y is equal to 2 and find bxy and byx so you know what is the, uh, what is bxy regression coefficient of x on y and byx is nothing but regression coefficient of y on x so what is the formula for b uh, bxy r into sigma x by sigma y and byx is r into sigma y by sigma x so just substitute the values and you will get the answer and find the two regression e uh, coefficients x on y so is equal to plus 0.542 and y uh, y on x is equal to it means plus 0.542 is nothing but bxy value and uh, plus 0.905 is nothing but by value and we have to calculate the correlation between okay x and y so it means r value we have to calculate you know how to calculate r value r is nothing but correlation coefficient is nothing but r is equal to square root of bxy and byx formula we have to use for this formula and the next when it is comes to the uh, given summation x is equal to 56 summation y is equal to so it means you need to use a formula to calculate two regression equations so you know x minus x bar is equal to bxy into byx okay so direct formula we have to use n into sigma x sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y by n into sigma y square by minus sigma y whole square formula we have to apply so this is a direct method of formula which is given so you have to calculate and next price index based on the price relativity method using arithmetic mean and geometric mean this is one of the short answer you can expect in your final exam and uh, fit a straight line by using semi average method so it is one also one of the very very important question so you can expect this question also in your final exam and next uh, fit a straight line by using free hand method so these are all are very very important so when it is comes to the probability chapter and uh, mutually exclusive events and not mutually so mutually exclusive events are nothing but dependent events and not mutually independent so the same question you may get in reverse way also independent and dependent events also same thing mutual and not mutually exclusive and one very very important question from unit number 5 is what is normal distribution explain the properties of normal distribution and importance of the this distribution and uh, one more question from the probability define probability and various basic concepts involved in probability and stereous methods uh, methods or approaches to probability so these are all very very important questions from part a so when it is comes to the part b question the first question is uh, find the two regression equations so this is our direct x values and y values are given and we have to predict the value of x when the y is equal to so we have to use the regression equation of y on x to predict the value of y and two regression equations and correlation also we have to find by using uh, r is equal to sigma x y Uh, square root of sigma b b x y into b y x formula we have to apply. So this is uh, one more model of uh, regression equation question. So mean values are already given, standard deviation already given, r value is given, and you have to uh, substitute these, all these values in the formula. Okay. So when it is comes to the unit number uh, two, uh, long answer. Last PS, Patches, Fishers, and Darbish Bowler. These are all are very very important question. And uh, remember, when you do, when it is comes to this unit, the question sometimes what is given in this question here? Item, price, quantity is given. Base year price and base year quantities are given. Sometimes in place of quantity, they may give you expenditure also. So expenditure means quantities are not given. So how to calculate the uh, quantity now? Expenditure value divided by price you have to do to calculate the so after then you can do the normal process okay and construct the uh, uh, with the help of the data given below and fisher's ideal index shows that satisfies the time reversal test and factor reversal you know time reversal test p01 into p10 is equal to 1 you have to get so we have to take lhs and you have to prove rhs and uh, factor reversal test is nothing but p01 into q01 is equal to v01 value index we have to get so this also one of the very very important question uh, next uh, the method of least square and while solving this problem be careful because sometimes you may get the question uh, even year or odd year 
जो बाई रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो इकर बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन टूवेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन डेटा इज गिवेन सो इट इज ए ऑड इयर प्रॉब्लम समटाइम्स यू मे गेट इवन इयर प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो जस्ट काउंट द नंबर ऑफ इयर्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू हैव टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मला इफ द ऑड इयर प्रॉब्लम इज देर इन मिडिल यू कैन पुट द जीरो एंड माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री एंड प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री इफ द इवन इयर यू आर गेटिंग इन द मिडिल टू इयर्स यू हैव टू पुट माइनस वन माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन सो यू हैव टू राइट माइनस थ्री माइनस फाइव नेक्स्ट इयर टू टू रैंड आर्ड आर्ड नंबर्स यू हैव राइट ओके सो वन थ्री फाइव माइनस वन थ्री फाइव प्लस वन थ्री फाइव यू हैव राइट सो इन मिडिल यू हैव राइट प्लस वन एंड माइनस वन सो दैट स्टेप यू नीड टू बी सो यू विल बी गिविंग इन द प्लॉट द वैल्यूज ऑन द ग्रा पेपर सो ग्रा ग्रा पेपर विल नॉट बी गिवेन इन द एग्जाम सो नॉर्मली यू हैव टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन योर पेपर ओन ओके and uh, calculate the 5 year and 3 uh, year and 5 year moving averages so you know 3 year means three values we have to add 5 means 5 year 5 values we have to add sometimes in case if they give 7 year moving averages you have to add seven values that's it so all so uh, by adding three values divided by 3 you'll get the 3 year moving averages after adding the five values if you divided with 5 you'll get 5 year moving averages value if you add seven values if you divided with 7 you'll get a seven year moving average so this is one of the very very important question so when it is comes to the unit number 4 uh, uh, so this is uh, a factory of two machines uh, empirical so it is nothing but bayes theorem problem okay it is one of the very very important question from bayes theorem and when it is comes to the a com a bag uh, contains a, with replacement and without replacement this is one of the very very important uh, conditional probability uh, concept so when it is comes to the binomial theorem fit a binomial uh, distribution and if it a poisson distribution compulsory from these two models you can get one question in final exam so this two at least uh, uh, binomial distribution similar same model you can get binomial or poisson so compulsory you have to practice these two questions so in the b bit you can expect a study of past participants and the length of this is a normal distribution problem okay so so subscribe to our channel anu computer education so and uh, to our youtube channel as well as telegram channel and three three four theory questions also i'm giving sometimes uh, in short answer you can expect some theory questions because nowadays uh, in all subjects uh, part uh, a most of the time they are asking uh, only theory questions so these are the theory questions uh, what are the differences between different what is index number and different types of index numbers and next uh, Uh, features and importance of a time series and one question you added difference between regression and correlation so what is regression analysis the importance of regression analysis okay that one question is missing here just to add that question and in co difference between correlation and regression so these are all are very very important questions so all the best for your exam and uh, don't forget to subscribe like this video please share this uh, questions to all your friends so definitely if you practice this question i can assure that definitely can score outstanding marks in your final exam so again i'm showing the questions these are part a questions uh these are part b questions semi averages method so here also be careful even year and odd year problem even even number of years and odd number of years will be there so ye questions pura acha se practice karo ye hi questions aapke exam mein aane ka chances zyada hai so similar type of questions maximum these questions only will get in your final exam